Welcome back to Glory Supporters. We have a new team, Peterborough United. They, uh, I would say, convincingly beat uh, Reading this weekend, just out of um, being the less shit of the two. We we lasted one one game with, with Reading. We're on to, to Peterborough, see where we can go from there. Zach, do you want to start with the match recap? Yeah, absolutely. So, having watched the highlights, um, which weren't very comprehensive because they didn't need to be, um, it looked like Peterborough were the, probably the better of the two sides. Reading looked fairly poor. Um, Peterborough had one phenomenal shot saved by Reading goalkeeper, um, which would have been absolute top bin because that was a great save, but then scored a fairly poor goal, cross lumped into the box, headed back. Not sure if it was going in or if the defender put it in, but anyway, Peter, Peterborough captain managed to uh, open a scoring for, for his team and, uh, and secure the win. I think... The stats looked fairly similar. Reading had a better XG, which obviously doesn't matter because they lost 1-0. But saves-wise, corner-wise, all very, very similar. Certainly not much in it. So Peterborough go on, win 1-0, and now we support them. Yeah, just to add there as well, the, the guy that scored the goal was um, the Peterborough captain of Efron mason Clark. He actually went off injured as well right after um, half-time. Peterborough United, who are they? Another Southern club? Which Fortunately, we knew that there was a risk of, of getting there when we saw the fixtures. Um, but Peterborough, they were founded in 1934. Um, their nickname is The Posh. Um, I was reading up about why they were called The Posh. Um, it, to be honest, I can't even remember it. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good, good for the good content. Um, <laughs> something about there was two clubs in Peterborough. One was like Brickies, and then another guy set up a team, and he only wanted posh players. It's just a, um, a first class and working class rivalry. Basically, yeah. So Sorry. when he said he he only wants posh players, um, then the other team disbanded, and then they I guess they merged together, and then the nickname stuck with Peterborough. Um, so they're called the Posh. The Posh. Yes. Um, their ground name is the London Road Stadium. Um, they play in League One, like Reading did. Um, however, they were relegated from from the Championship uh, in twenty twenty two. Last last year was their first season back in um, League One for a, for a while. Uh, but they did make the playoffs. Um, if anybody remembers uh, the four nil lead that they gave away uh, against Sheffield Wednesday, and they're now back in the um, the Championship. Uh, Zach, as a Sheffield United fan. Um, really happy about that result. I say I did watch the game, watch the second leg, and Wednesday deserved it. And it was just kind of one of them where you were like, this is a fairy tale. As awful as it was to witness as a Sheffield United fan. Phenomenal game, phenomenal effort from Wednesday, to be fair to them. Um, thankfully, we're now Premier League and they're not, so mind the gap. Yeah, indeed. Uh, there's always there's always some sort of drama with the playoffs as well. Yeah, yeah. That was that, every year. That's got to be up there with best ever. Yeah, 100%. Uh, moving on to record um, signings, um, their record signing was Mo Issa from Bristol City um, in 2019. They paid 1.25 million for him, yeah. um, so big big spending then. Uh, but their record sale was a, a familiar name with Ivan Tony. They sold him to Brentford uh, in 2020 for a whopping seven million. So um, big money for for a club in in League One or maybe Championship at the time. Um, Zach, do you want to talk about a bit more about their history? Absolutely, yeah. Tony probably had a bet on that, by the way. I reckon he knew he was going to... Uh, <laughs> 100%. There's a chance he cashed in. So, apparently, and we are definitely reading this because this was some time ago, top scorer of all time, Jim Hall, 122 goals over an eight-year period of 1967-75. Interested to know, is Jim Hall still alive? That was a Don't while know. ago. Maybe. Hopefully he is. Yeah. Hopefully he's still uh, bagging him in in the care home or something similar. <laughs> um, best Cup run. League Cup semi-final in 1966. Good year for England, obviously. Um, latest trophy, Papa John's trophy in 2013-2014. I don't really know if you class that silverware. Probably a free pizza. Um, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, their rivals are Cambridge United, who I've actually had looked before. They have them in the first round of the EFL trophy. So Ooh, a, that's an okay, immediate, so uh, like a, quite a tidy draw. It'll be quite interesting to see if we can get to that, which is about six games, I think. Um, 
to have a rivals match. Yeah, it'll be yeah, a bit. Might, of, might be on at the pub. Bit of a run. Yeah, if we can get get to see that. But before that, Peterborough are going to have to go on a bit of a winning streak to get there. Yeah, there'll be a few. So let's see. Uh, that'll be an interesting derby to watch. Definitely. In terms of the team itself, current manager Darren Ferguson is currently in his second stint at the club. Um, he has kind of come back. I imagine it's a bit like welcoming your hero back after back to back promotions. Um, according to this, he has a 58% win rate with Peterborough. So there is a chance we can go on a run. There's a chance yeah. we can get a few going. Indeed. Um, and then I'm going to let you pronounce the captain's name because I'll get that wrong. <laughs> yeah, so the, the captain um, is Efron Mason Clark. Um, I think he's a newly appointed captain um, first this season. Um, so he's injured after like 45 minutes. So we'll see We'll see who the vice captain is. Um, Hopefully not serious. He'll come back. He'll yeah, I, I don't know what the what the injury was, but yeah, maybe it'll be after a couple of games or so. Fingers crossed. Not too long. Um, so moving on to upcoming fixtures, uh, this is actually the first opportunity we're going to have to change leagues uh, because it is the, the EFL Cup um, tonight. We're recording, we're recording this on Tuesday, 8th of August. Um, they're playing Swindon, who are in League 2. So um, if Swindon do win, uh, we will be dropping down the leagues to League 2. Not sure I really want that to happen because I feel like we might be stuck in there for a while. I definitely don't want to go down to League 2, but... If they win, they win and they deserve the glory and we'll support. Yeah, very true. Um, one caveat to this is this is Swindon's first game of the season. Uh, they were supposed to play this weekend against Colchester, uh, but their, their game was abandoned due to a waterlogged pitch, uh, which is great <laughs> great news to hear for the <laughs> first weekend of August. Um, yeah, it's best not... summer weather we've had for a while. Not ideal. Yes. Um, so, predictions-wise, I think Peterborough will win it. Uh, I think... It'll be good for, for Peterborough if they do, because there's a chance that we're going to um, come, a, come across some more difficult opponents um, in uh, the later rounds of the tournament. Yeah, I, I, it's always a funny one in a cup game, because you don't know who could be who, but Swindon not having a game at the weekend, first competitive match of the season, they're still in that almost pre-season friendly mode. Now you're up against a team in the league above, Surely Peterborough are going to play a reasonably strong side, get through it, get on to the next round, crack on to the weekend. Um, you'd like to think if they play a strong squad, fairly convincing win, 2-3-0, maybe even 4 an absolute push. But then again, it depends how bad the injury to Ephraim, Mason, whoever is. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll see how he, see how he gets on. Um, yeah, Peterborough win and then uh, move into the next round of the Cup and we don't have to change leagues, so that's quite good. And going on to the weekend, Peterborough will have Charlton to play um, back in the league. Charlton also won their first game of the season 1-0. I always remember Charlton being very, very solid defensively when we were in the league with them. Um, hopefully, it'll be a good game. A lot of 1-0s fluttering around in the le in League 1 and lower divisions, but give us something to talk about in the kind of breakdown of the match instead of it was boring, they scored, they won. That would be good. What are, your, what are your score predictions for tonight's game? And then, yeah, assuming they win for Charlton at the weekend? I'm going to go 3-0 Peterborough tonight. Convincing, solid away. Done. Charlton game. Do you know what? I'm going to say one all. Okay. And then we stick with Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good shout. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 uh, tonight. Okay. Them. okay. And then... Um, in the over to the weekend, uh, I think it's going to be a one nil game. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who it's going to go to. I'm just sticking one nil in the middle. <laughs> just throw it out. <laughs> yeah, the okay. score's going to be one nil. I don't care who not wins sure. it. Yeah, we'll take that. Yes. Um, so we'll we'll tune in next week um, and give you a bit of an update of what happened over the last two games. Um, hopefully we can stay with Peterborough. Um, if not, we'll be switching up to a new team already, um, and we'll give you an intro on those. Catch you next week. See you then. Don't forget to like, comment, share, comment, comment. Like, comment, share, no, subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.